John Simon it is that kicks off. Illawarra, a big winner over the Auckland Warriors last weekend, and of course Brisbane likewise over Western Suburbs. It was the Magpies, however, that defeated Illawarra at Campbelltown in the opening round by that slender margin, 48 metres out from the Illawarra line. Langer holding it back, and then away for Kevin Walters. He got the pass away for Langer. Langer's in a little bit of a hole, and away from Callaway and inside the 30-metre line, still going. And on the far side of the ground, it's Renoff with the ball, able to get it back for Langer. Langer looks for support. O'Neill is there, he gets the bounce, the ball on the bounce. That slowed the attack down. And the fifth tackle is gone for the Broncos. Played by O'Neill. Langer putting it into that corner again for Willie Kahn. Beecham let it bounce. That's dangerous. He bats it over the dead ball line. Yes, and Alfie Langer just make that break just a little bit before time there. He caught Darren Fritz out in the defensive line. He ran a good run around him. The finish off the set of six, a good kick. Bad play there from the fullback, not to catch the ball on the full. It would have been a walk to the 22-metre line. The last tackle, Langer's calling for it. It was a sloppy play, the ball, but they'll still score. Ryan gets in, and it was all so easy in the final analysis. Brisbane score, Peter Ryan... Four points to nothing. And the biggest problem there, Phil Awara dropping off tackles. We see the long ball. Alfie Langer re used the decoy. Rodwell it was who came in and allowed Ryan on the outside of him. Bad play there from Rodwell, but an easy try to Peter Ryan. So this was the try on another angle. Turp had to come in. Pincinelli had to come across. Three goals away from his century of goals, and there it is between the uprights. So Julian O'Neill has converted the Peter Ryan try. Brisbane six, the Steelers nothing. John Simon's kickoff is quite deep, considering the strength of the breeze. Will he can? Oh, Khan! He sent him off! Martin Masella has been sent off by Eddie Ward. Yeah, it was a swinging arm too, Martin Masella. There's no excuses for that sort of tackle. It was on the same plane as his head. The right arm swung straight across the mush of Willie Kahn, and he looks to be in a lot of trouble. The Broncos come straight in. Here it is. Oh, a dead set swinging arm there from Martin Masala, and it looks like Kelvin Giles ordering Willie off to the, uh, the head bin. Seven metres out from the line. The little fullback plays the ball. Simon pushes it on across to Pincinelli. They had the numbers on the right. They come back to the centre, and Timmons is pulled down and a penalty. A penalty goes to Illawarra. No Rod Wishart in the Illawarra side, so John Simon called on to do the goal kicking his first time as goal kicker this year. And an easy kick for him, one would think. 11 metres out, almost sitting on top of the uprights. He gets the first points for Illawarra. They're on the board, 6-2 they're trailing, but they're down to 12 men. Ryan, the try scorer, plays it. Langer now takes it ahead. He had Walters with him. He got inside the tackle of Fritz. Somehow, rather, got it away. Kieran Walters tries to bat it down. John Cross has knocked it on. It'll be interesting to see what Eddie Ward says here. Well, he said play on. It'll make an interesting replay. This is McGregor. Played back now for Callaway. A penalty goes to the Steelers. John Simon, successful with his... One and only attempt just a short time back, raises the flags again, so Illawarra edging closer to Brisbane. Now they trail six points to four. Langer. Hancock off the left wing, dances around Fritz and is met there by Sean Timmons and Dean Calloway. And now a penalty goes to Brisbane. The Steelers... Julian O'Neill converted the try, scored earlier, now raises the flags off this penalty. So Brisbane push a little bit further in front. They lead 8-4. Here's Hancock now, stretching out inside the 30-metre line. Sailor's coming up, but he's inside. The pass goes to ground, and it's with the Steelers. Clean break made by the Broncos, Michael Hancock. Callaway pushes it across. Richards on, Simon with a long pass. It's out with Jonathan Britton. 
He's being chased by Kevin Welders. O'Neill comes at him. And now he throws the dummy. O'Neill took the dummy. McGregor's there. McGregor, he'll score. He'll bring the joint down. Big roar goes up. Length of the failed try. Jonathan Britton made the cake. And Paul McGregor put the icing on it. They draw level. Tremendous try there from the Illawarra Steelers. Here's the break from Michael Hancock. I thought Wendell Saylor was a little bit late to come in on the inside. A good tackle there. Turk came back. And straight from here, the turnover. Illawarra willing to spread the ball straight away. John Simon saw it was on with this long pass. Gets on the outside. And there's Britton, the replacement. Too much pace there for Kevy Walters. Julian O'Neill was in a little bit of two minds whether he'd go inside for McGregor. The little dummy thrown. And look at this. He finally catches him, O'Neill, and McGregor sprints away. And look who's there, Glenn Lazarus. What a oh, great chase yeah. from him. That's unbelievable. I didn't see that block. You're quite right. What about Glenn Lazarus? Put him in your black book for a maiden somewhere on a Wednesday. Lazarus. I didn't see this, but that's, that's Glenn Lazarus making that vain attempt at tackle. Tremendous try. Well, we sing the praises of Jonathan Britton and Paul McGregor and Glenn Lazarus, but this man, he summed it up with that long pass. He converts the try that he started. Illawarra 10, Brisbane 8, the Steelers with 12 men. A metre out from the line, Callaway a dummy half. Here they come now, Simon with the long ball. Pincinelli finds McGregor, McGregor the dummy, and he goes in! Oh, you can read it. You can read it a half an hour in advance of it happening. And the kangaroo centre, the ill-fated kangaroo centre, does it himself, Paul McGregor. Yeah, well, the dangerous ball player is Neil Pincinelli, very underrated. The long ball right again from ball John ball Simon, the sliding defence of Brisbane Broncos. Puts him in the space on the outside of Chris Johns. It would have been a try anyway. He throws the dummy and scores the try. You put that down to the sliding defence, not numbering up properly. He's the dummy again. Three out of three for John Simon. Can he convert from near the touchline? He's hooked it. So no change to the scoreboard. 14 points to eight, that's how it looks. Incredible turnaround from Illawarra. Down on the Illawarra 20-metre line. Six points the difference, Illawarra in front, Langer and Kevin Wald as they combine. Now Langer on for Sailor. That's a beautiful piece of work by the Brisbane Hards. They've laid the foundation, not only in this game, but since the season start. They come back to 14-12 now. Yeah, what a great passage of play here. The run around again by Alfie Langer. Gee, they do it so well. The inside ball. And he stays alive, Alfie Langer. Good vision from Langer. He sees the winger Terps come in. The long ball over to Wendell Saylor. And I don't think he'll ever score an easier one than that, Rabs. No, I think you're probably right. I'm trying to work out why Rex Terp came in. Uh, he does, however. He goes in on Alan Langer there. And he leaves Wendell Saylor with the biggest corridor you've ever seen. Successful goal, and he's got it, I do believe, from the touchline. Great kick from Julian O'Neill, brings the scores level, and Julian's 100th goal in first grade. Five tackles gone, Kerrod Walters appealing for a penalty. It's not forthcoming. Langer is, he puts the kick across. Renoff, Renoff picks it up on the bounce and puts it over the line. Hello. The Brisbane Magicians are starting to work their music again. Well, that'll do me. There was nothing on it. It looked like it came off the side of his boot. Oh, For a new, uh, planned move. They do it all the time. Have a look at the inside runners. Off his right boot, right in the middle. And that's the place to score him, Rabbi. Right under the post. Right under the post, Blocky. Renoff gets another try. Look at this kick from Langer. Just sat up at the precise moment that Renoff would want it. Oh, what an incredible passage of play coming up to the break. A passage of play that firmly favoured Brisbane. They go to the break, 20 points to 14 up. Illawarra had led by six, it seems, only a couple of seconds ago. We'll break and be back.
with more of this exciting match from Steeler Stadium in just a moment. Illawarra calling personnel back onto the other side of the ground. That's where Brisbane are going. Langer, a beautiful pass, and Johnny Plath is in. Well, Langer has taken this game by the scruff of the neck. He realised that it was a pretty ordinary performance they were displaying. And in the period leading up to halftime and immediately thereafter, Alan Langer has grabbed it and has got Brisbane online again. Oh, great play there from Alan Langer. He saw Dean Callaway, the hooker, caught wide out and they just ran straight away. It was a beautiful ball of Platt. Got on the outside of Callaway. I don't know what he was doing out there. Julian O'Neill has been something of a quite achiever in goal kicking this year. 85% and that's a nice kick from an acute angle. Another two points to the Brisbane total. Langer now. Hancock. Kevin Walters gave him a decoy on the inside. Now it's out to Renoff. He looks for his second try. He angles back in. Oh, some of that defence was puerile. And Renoff gets his second try of the game. Well, are they a great football side or what? They work to the middle. Decided to spread the ball there. Langer involved again. A long pass to Hancock. He beats a couple on the outside. McGregor at fault there. Draws him in. A beautiful pass to Renouf. Have a look at the strength of this bloke. He comes again there. The second row thought. Pincinelli and just pushes him off. Great try to Renouf. Well, Neil Pincinelli, he's got no greater admirer than I, but twice in the same play, he's been beaten in defence. Hancock got outside him. Pincinelli comes down again and has another shot, and Renoff brushes him away again. So Renoff gets his second try of the match and his 70th try in his career. So Gillian O'Neill has that in front of him to convert the try. He's hooked it around too much. So the scoreboard, Brisbane 30, Illawarra 14. Ben Duckworth, the opportunity to make more ground. From Callaway, it's gone into no man's land total breakdown of communication Scott England will play it on tackle number five McGregor goes into dummy half as if to say what is going on John Simon a little bit of the old George best and they're going to get in are they McGregor he goes for his third try and gets it 25th minute 30th minute and another one at the 50th minute well what about John Simon well, we'll see. Get him a job with Manchester United <laughs> immediately, Blocker. We're Forget about the, the, the contract with the Roosters. We've seen some freakish things in this game already. John <laughs> Simon, watch this. A little chip over the top without even gathering the ball with his hands. Onto the replacement. Uh, who is it? Number 28, Duckworth. He draws in. Good effort there from Michael Hancock to cover up the tackle, but McGregor in for his second. Simon, John. Manchester United, maybe. And from the sideline, it's a beauty. So he converts four into six. And the Steelers remind us they're not gone yet. Five tackles gone, says Eddie Ward. It's with Langer who kicks across. Hancock's coming quickly. And Jonathan Britton pulls it, uh, uh, lets it go to ground. And John Plath will play it with six more tackles. The tackle count nullified by referee Ward. Hancock decides to do it himself. Did he get it down? Eddie Ward says yes and gives the try. Well, that's poor play there from the replacement, Britton. Looked like he was asleep there. Hancock just went into dummy half after a good kick through. The play of the ball, six again. Bad play there from Britton. And goes to sleep when he goes across to the blind side. A good play of the ball here from Johnny Plath. And Hancock just swivels around and just dives over. No resistance whatsoever. Good try to Hancock. Five successes from six attempts for Julian O'Neill, and this is not coming around as he wanted. So the try of Michael Hancock goes unconverted, but Brisbane lead by 14 points. All in all, though, the Steelers not disgraced in this game today, given that they've had 12 men for practically the entire game. 34 to 20 down, Skelton turning it back inside for Cross and he takes the final tackle of the game. Eddie Ward acknowledges that and repeating the final score, 
34 to 20, six tries to three, Brisbane over Illawarra. And on behalf of Steve Roach and the nine rugby league crew from the Wollongong Steelers Stadium, it's good night Australia.